much sword ammo am I gonna have when I spawn in? Hopefully like, at least 90. Not it. See that rock. That's the one. Could probably look a little bit more to the right than that. I could play safe though. Dude, right there. I'm not gonna be able to sword fly like over to the plate because I don't have that much sword ammo. That's what I get for choke and do this run's gonna have a little bit of time save. You can do less than ten uh less than ten sword swings before you like before you start turning, but I like to play it safe. Especially I don't know how many sword ammo. This guy's gotta go. Dude, that little freaking flip I just did with my gun, that shit was tight. I'm gonna get blown up, dude. <laughs> oh man, this is gonna be rough. Dude, no sword ammo. Yeah, you definitely wanna. I probably should have just waited for my synth, honestly, but dude, I'm just trying to get into the action. Dude, let me at this lamp. power slide that I do whenever this bridge forms. Something that I came up with. I don't know if it's used in the speedruns, in actual speedruns, but I like doing it. I think it looks cool. Alright, 390. I should probably put on something for this guy. We'll do Icebreaker today. You kind of step back. Alright, I'm probably gonna switch to Raze Lighter for the rest of this run. I think Raze Lighter is a little bit better for dealing with knights. Let me make sure this bubble is correct. Make sure this is correct too. on to. I'm probably gonna miss this dude. I'm just I just don't play this game that much anymore, dude. I'm just not 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 warmed up with the power slides, dude. I was a little bit too late, but it's gonna save me a little bit of time. Oh, but we're just not doing the power slide. Do you know if I hit the freaking pillar? I can If I wipe on Crota like once or even twice, I low key might not even reset, dude. Wow, nothing for this guy? That's not good. I'm gonna just catch that. Just 
run isn't going to be super optimized, but I do want to get a, a 390 time. So I've been doing a lot of 30. I've been doing a lot of level 30 Crota speed runs recently, and uh, you don't want to. I'm gonna get some of these. Watch if I put this on. Bang. But a lot of people ask me how I get, uh, how I, like, do that, uh, buoy mode over there, and, like, breach, or not breach, how I, like, die and respawn over here. It's basically just, like, uh, I just put on, it works with the howling mode or the buoy mode, I just put the buoy mode on, and then I, like, taunt with the buoy mode over there, and as soon as I hit the button to taunt, I go into my inventory and I switch to, it could be any other emote, I just do the come at me emote, because it's the one that I always have on me. You switch emotes, and then you come out of your inventory, and you should still be in the boo animation. Then you mash left on the D-pad again to do another emote. And even though you switch to the come at me emote, you should still do, like, a, you should still do the boo emote. Holy shit. It's a little bit scary. Can I still get you? Yeah, I can. You should still be doing the boo emote, even though you put on the come at me emote. And then once you do the second boo emote, uh, you just mash, like, up to wave, or you can mash right to dance. And, uh... It should kill you, so we do boo. Start doing the boo emote, then I put this emote on, then an emote again, do another boo, and then I start mashing up or right on the d-pad. And uh, the way that I get it to put me over here on this side is I just like... I just like, uh, make sure there's an enemy within like, I don't know, 10 meters, give or take. Because whenever I die over there, my ghost, my ghost will be over there, but if your ghost is within like 10 meters of an enemy, the game doesn't want to spawn you next to an enemy. So the game will just like, it'll look for like the last places that you walked, and if you don't run around too much over here, the last place you you end up walking will be somewhere over there on the other side of the bridge. So it's kind of a rough explanation, but it's the best I could do. I'm kind of trying to focus a little bit on this. And I also, as soon as I do this and get back over here, I immediately put the buoy mode back on so that I don't get over there and accidentally taunt, because I forget. I'm gonna end up losing time because I have the striker subclass on. Toward the end of this, whenever the knights come out, I'm gonna put on my sunbreaker and then I'm gonna kill enemies until I get my super so I can use simmering. If I just had on a uh, striker or uh, sunbreaker this entire time, it would be a lot. It would save me time at the end. But playing this first run a little bit safe since I don't really have a time recorded exactly. Trying to get through this one time, you get a little bit, get a little bit warmed up. All right, that was three, I think. Did I put this on? I did. I'm probably not going to explain how the, the come at me, like the taunt emote where you breach works, because it's a little bit hard to explain. But, uh... Dude, if you know how to do it, it can save you a lot of time. I wouldn't say a lot of time, it saves you a little bit of time. You can skip the, the hallway. Alright, we're going to put on this. Simmering. Okay, good. We got simmering on. Sword. Alright, now we're gonna kinda get these knights together. Oh no. 
Sometimes whenever you hop on a rock right away, they kind of their aggro is kind of messed up. You need to get back on me. Hey. Hey. There we go. See, it's like I never even left zombies, dude. We're just training. This is always scary on 390. Nice. Hey, 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 hey. Hey. Summer is super nice on this part. If you're a warlock, if you're doing this on a warlock, you can use solar grenades and they're also amazing on this part. Really any grenade is good, but the ones that have like uh, AoE or anything like that are really good for this part because you have all these knights kind of trained up. You can kind of keep running through the same nade a bunch of times. Scrubs. The ultimate goal for a time is just anything faster than my Zetsubo speedrun dude. If I can hit that, what I get from that. Ooh, gloves, dude. We love to see gloves from that encounter. Uh, did I put the? Yeah, I did. Switch that. Nothing worse than coming over here and taunting this wall. That's just the worst feeling in the world. I'm, uh... I don't have any, like, I don't have my supers. So I'm probably just gonna come up here and... I might even get the chest. Spirited. Alright, because I'm a little bit scared. Because I'm a little bit bad. We're gonna put this on. Alright, let's go. This is why I have Raze Lighter on. It's super nice for these knights, and it's also really good. It's better than Dark Drink, but it's a wizard because she has a nice solar shield. Hey, open up, bud. What are you doing? You can get knocked around by those trigger fragments. It's very annoying. All right, I'm not going to need the super. I don't know if I should use it. I don't know if that's the right move, but dude, no one can stop me now. Again here, if I'm on 390, I like to kill some of the Thrall and the Knights first. As my times get faster, I'm probably gonna have to eliminate some of that pussy stuff from my runs, but for right now it should be alright. You can also sword block that death blast and just run in and bum rusher. Not doing that. I almost wanted to start the freaking song, to be honest. There we go. Alright, you're done. You're done. Eventually. Oh, I'm fucking bad. Alright, that was, that was alright. This is where the run is made or broken. Oversoul Edict. Do I go in here? Nah, I'll save that for, for another time. I keep trying to freaking pop and throw a grenade with the right bunker.
not like the most worried about ammo, but it is kind of a concern all the time. I do have a synth, but I kind of want to pop a brick right here. I kind of want to save the synth, to be honest. It's not looking like I'm going to get that type of that type of privilege this, this time. Alright, that was fucked up. That wasn't right. Yeah, if I had a little bit of shotgun ammo right now, this would be a lot more... a lot quicker. But, uh... Whatever, dude. It's fine. Alright, there's like one acolyte over here, probably. Hi. I'm gonna be a little bit efficient when I kill this knight, because I don't wanna run a shotgun. Hopefully, Crow doesn't snipe me here. He can do that. Don't slice me either, dude. Holy shit. I got a little bit carried away just then. <laughs> Alright. Um, look at this here. A bad nade. I was a decent nade. Oh, that was perfect. Never mind. You're done. First of all. Alright. One. Alright, we gotta look. I got like a, a damage number that I hit him with. Started with 14, so that usually means it's down. Alright, we're trying to go for one, two, three slams in the first sword. That was a nice hurt so much. Three slams on the first sword, three slams, excuse me, three slams on the second. Dude, chill out. Three slams on the second sword, holy smokes, I my freaking bubble back, that's insane. I'm gonna run into the fucking primary. I have a primary, dude. That's primary right there, I need that. Actually, right now, I feel like I should do this, because I only use like one Dragon's Breath shot per thing, so. I don't really need to stress about uh, heavy. What are you doing? My damage number started with 12, so it's probably gonna take two or three shots here. To... There we go. One, two, three. Perfect. Now is the part that really makes or breaks my run, because I freaking love... I love to die to these ogres. It's my favorite thing. Do it every... POV, you gotta lock in, because Daryl and Gerald are about to come out and fuck you up. Don't fucking slam me, dude. That's not right. We're gonna use a little bit of this. I got plenty. Air curse thralls, and I don't like it, dude. Okay, I feel like that was good. Those were good ogres. That last the second guy kind of got me, kind of got me running around a little bit, but it's whatever. Make sure this is loaded.
and shoot. Shoot that. I almost fucking blew myself up. Oh, only nine. That's not good. Watch this, though. I got a nade for your ass, bud. One. Half. Two and a half. Oh yeah, uh, I also run through that bubble after I do my sword damage because it gives me weapons of light for the oh, Oversoul, which is convenient. Make sure this is loaded, always. Get the fuck out of here. You can't, you can't get it. You can get it. Gerd has been hit eight and a half times with the sword, or slammed, I guess I should say, eight and a half times. Which means that he only has, he only has eleven and a half swings. Jesus, man. Got me in fear. Should've saved that force barrier for this last one, dude, it could be safe. Whatever. Oh yeah, he has 11 and a half slams worth of health, and he enrages at 9. So we do 8 and a half, we get him to 8 and a half, and then I do my last 3 on the last sword. Because if I were to do, if I were to do 3 slams on each of the first 3 swords, that would be just enough to enrage him, and if he enrages, uh, I lose. Unless you're a freaking baller. It's good. Oh my fuck. God, dude. I literally knew that was gonna happen. I literally knew that was gonna happen. That literally happens to me every single time, dude. I Every single time I do this, after I haven't, like, practiced in a while, he freaking slams me on the last sword. This run officially has time save. What, dude? I don't need all this. Alright, we gotta do this next one. We gotta do this phase, or this thing fast, so I can save this run. First sword. Sometimes I like to place the bubble before I before I grab the sword. Sometimes I like to just grab the sword, just run up here and do this. All right, it's fucking face. Fourteen. I like that damage number. He will go down, but we're just gonna hit him with one of these. Just... These freaking knights, dude. I don't know why. On the last on the last sword, I always get like I guess nervous. Oh my fucking god, dude. It's a brick. Sub 40 is still on the table. I'm going through here though. We're not, we're not playing these games. Low key. Low key. I honestly consider those overnights to be kind of an RNG factor. I don't know if they are or not. It's possible that I'm just bad. 
it's very likely that I'm just bad. Dude, watch this shit, new strat. Even RNG, dude, just being bad at the game. You probably don't even have to kill these ads. Hey. Alright, dude, that's not cool. Really doesn't matter what happens in there because I get this chalice. Some people say that Death Singer, it's a solo Death Singer, is harder than Crota. I don't know if it's because I've done the Crota or the Death Singer fight more than Crota, but man, I've always found Crota on 390 just be like annoying. Don't take my force barrier. Oh yeah, dude. I'm pretty sure this force barrier recharges. Maybe it doesn't. I don't know. You know, it's just a straight, straight front farce. One. Oh my lord, dude. Dude. Nights, nice, man. It's friggin' nights. Nice. by those knights. I'd love to hear them. Okay, kill you. Honestly, I have so much of this ammo, I might just shoot one of these right now. Shotgun shells because I've already already don't have that much ammo to begin with. Alright. Force barrier. I said force barrier. Force barrier, please. Alright, dude. Sometimes it's just not your day. Only eleven. It's not enough. Gotta throw one of these probably. Alright. One, two, three. Got a little bit late there. My time. Sub 40 is definitely on the table. This run's messed. We're about a half hour in this run. that. 
kind of want to get this knight a little bit low, so I don't have to use shotgun on him. If I can get him over here, that'll be good. There we go. There he is. Here comes Crota, I think. Oh, he's already back. Alright, we'll get for him. Dude. That here. One, two, three. Yeah, that's like actually super lenient getting in there. Look at these knights though, man. They're freaking fucking. Wow. I don't imagine that you would have time to kill one of those knights. I've never tried it. it sounds kind of stupid to me to do that. I'd rather just flip the coin, to be honest. Come on, buddy. Holy fucking hell, dude. Well, I have to say that hurt a little bit. This fucking guy is on my team. Jesus. Well, I didn't love that, but, you know. You know. You know. Of time for this. Is the sword bear gonna gonna do this to me? Gonna do this to me, sword bear. Come on. Two and a half is all I need. I didn't even see what number I got, so I'm just not paying attention. One, two, three. Here's throw. I hear curse throw. Oh, there's some sword or some shotgun ammo up there. That's what I need right now. Alrighty, we got that damage that I needed. Good. If you miss a sword swing on your- uh, if you miss a sword swing on your first or second sword, you just straight, like, not do the two and a half and just do- you can either do three and a half on the third sword or you can do- or you can do, uh, you can just do three and then do- or no, yeah, you gotta- you gotta do three and a half. You can get three and a half pretty easily, that's pretty consistent. needs to relax. The method of sorting that I use is like really safe. It's like unnecessarily safe. This dude went really far away. I don't like that. That's what I want to do. Look at that. Now I got a force barrier and shiz. Apparently I don't have the thing that makes uh, that recharge on. Wow, that's not good at all. Um, dude, whose job was it to remind me to, <laughs> to pop that sim? I probably had time, but dude, I just, 
There's no way. Actually, he shouldn't enrage. Dude, if I get the sub 40, it'll only just be early. Alright, give me two more ogres, which is not what I really want to hear. But... Hey, dude, I have this for for this, so that's cool. Oh, I want the ogres to go every single time, dude. If I can get it to be that clean. He's fucking cooking. Or at least Crota is over there now. I can look at him from here. Oh, I know the Nerage is there. You don't even worry about me. So I gotta move. Why do I not remember to load this when it matters? Dude? Ladies and gentlemen, today we have discovered that I am either I'm either extremely rusty. Or I might just not be good at Crota, dude. But anyways, dude, let's go see what this time looks like. That should be sub-40, right? Like, I've been straight for 40 minutes, and I had the, that run for 37-12. That's, like, that's, that's that's pretty good. It's a pretty good start. It's a lot of time saved, dude. Sub-30, definitely, definitely in the near future, but, but dude, there it is. 390 Crota in less than 40 minutes. GG.